Yeah, I don't really see any reason to play anything else. We're gonna have to just open attack to make sure another Decimate doesn't kill me. Wow, what a draw. Okay. Heal. We are leveling up Pike this round. We're gonna do it. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Pike, Aurelian, Soul. That's right, you heard it right, Pike and Aurelian, Soul together. This was a uh, donation deck from a viewer that uh, had it as like a challenge for me to build a deck with both Pike and Aurelian, Soul working together. And so this is what I got, this is what we're going to try out. And it's, it's always fun at trying out challenges like this where you try to put two champions that don't usually ever go together and put them together and see what they look like. So um, we're going to be basically playing an all Targon deck, to be honest. That's kind of like where we ended up with our only Bilgewater cards being Bone Skewer and Pike. So we're not really playing at other Lurk cards. We're kind of playing a, a Targon control-ish deck with those two. And uh, then, but we still want to level up our pike and we want our pike to be really good. And we have a lot of cards with Targon that can kind of help that out with some, some uh, buff spells and protection spells. So uh, it starts as a 2-3. If we're able to lurk pike or use death from below, you know, then it could increase that power. But there are other ways to increase the power. We're going to be using uh, cards like Pale Cascade. They can give it the plus one, plus one. That'll be nice. Um, Bastion, giving it the plus one, plus one, and Spell Shield, right? So if they try to kill our Pike, we can give it Spell Shield. I think Bastion should work out well with it. And then Blessing of Targon. Blessing of Targon's an underrated card. Uh, the permanent plus three, plus three should work really well. But that's not all. We also have gems. We're going to have one Mentor of the Stones, but then also Mountain Goats. They're going to be striking, creating gems, and those gems will help increase the power of Pike and allow it to level up faster. And then besides that, we're going to have... Um, so um, we just, all right, so I got one Zoe in here also, even though it's Pike Aurelian Soul, because I only had five champion slots, because I didn't want to play a third Aurelian Soul. So that, that's why there's one Zoe in here, <laughs> just to be, yeah, you know, because we had a champion slot available. Uh, it's just going to do some, uh, you know, invoking and stuff like that. All right, besides that, we have one Dragon's Clutch to go get our two dragons. We're only, we're playing just Eclipse Dragon and Aurelian Soul as our two dragons. And so we're going to be able to go grab those with the Dragon's Clutch to be able to get Aurelian Soul in play a little earlier. And we're gonna have some other invokes. We'll have Moon Dreamer, Solari Priestess, and um, I guess then just the, these other things. So we'll have some other invokes like that. So yeah, it's just kind of got a little bit of everything. We got some lifesteal with the Sunforger, uh, but I think it could work out fairly well. So we're gonna give it a try. It's gonna be Pike, Aurelian Soul. Let's go play five games in normal and just kind of see what this deck is like. Okay, playing against Zillion Echo. That's a deck that we've seen a little bit more than Pike Aurelian Soul. Um, I guess we're sending all of these back. I kind of like having Pill Cascade protect Zoe or even Bastion protect Zoe. But you got to think that they're going to be like a very heavy Mystic Shot deck. I'll keep the Bastion. Ooh. This could be really good if we're able to, if they don't kill my my Zoe right away, and then we're able to like mentor the stones to Zoe and have Bastion for it. Could be really good. Just a crazy Zoe hand. That's why we're just playing the one Zoe because you can just kind of go crazy with the Zoe. Ooh, Kyrian Sumpworker. Well, I sure hope they don't have another one of those. Okay, they do. <laughs> Kirin Sumpworker can have crazy high rolls. We're going to be playing a Kirin Sumpworker deck uh, next round. You know, our next deck, Kirin Go Hard. Hey, Ardnos. Crystals. 
So buffing up the um, the Blue Sentinel kind of puts them in a tough spot, right? Because you don't, like, Blue Sentinel is the kind of card that you don't really want to kill. But this Blue Sentinel is going to be big enough where they kind of have to kill it. Because otherwise, um, you know, otherwise you they go and die. All right, get an extra mana next round. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. We got rid of that sump worker. That's good. Take my puffs looking for more sump workers. That'd be my guess. We haven't lurked yet. Yeah. May have forgot that we're a lurk deck, but we are a lurk deck. Let's grab the messenger to draw more cards. Alright, well we got found all of our dragon stuff. Hope Sand, yes, this is your deck right here. Pike Aurelian Soul. We're giving it a try, and so far, so good, I think. Or I can get rid of this Dragon's Clutch with this already having to... Let's grab another Messenger. Already having two Aurelian Souls in hand. Because, yeah, the Zillion Echo, usually, they, they try to play a longer game. Um, the Aurelian Souls do a good job playing a longer game, but... Messenger is getting us some more card advantage would be nice. Echo is leveled up for them. They took no time at all choosing a card there, so you gotta think it's gonna be a time bomb or an echo. Looks like it was a time bomb. And they got two of them. I wanted to play that messenger first to turn on the uh, nightfall for that. Bone Skewer, kind of cool here. Get to kill the Zillion before it levels up. Find some pikes. What's on tamper proof? You never learn. Wow. They're trading off Echo. surprise so um, you know with the blue sentinel dying we're gonna have 10 mana next round which is the best amount of mana ah yeah, there's just there's not very many lurkers. If, if we go like a, a real heavy lurker deck, and then just have like splashing a really soul in a lurker deck, there's just not really enough lurkers in Bilgewater to to have with Pike. Nine seven Ruin Runner is always rough. This is the second time I've seen that very recently. I think either earlier today or yesterday, 
I think I guess earlier today, I think, with the Xenia's Destiny deck, my opponent also had a 9-7. Like, same thing, they had a 9-7 Researchers. Or this thing. Doesn't give him a 9-7 though, right? No, just a regular 6-4, but still. This is my future. Yep. Don't want to be where I just die to a mystic shot. Chrono Break would be really good, even if it didn't have the Rally part. The Rally part is a little absurd. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Gotta have that life steal right now. made it rally next round I guess it's a possibility GG's. they got me it was looking good until that those leveled up echoes you know like the the two echoes especially the especially that second one but they really took over the game of just getting so many of the zero mana predict draw really took over the game I don't think you need to make it rally the next round. I don't think that that makes too much sense for the card. Like, it's just kind of weird. I think it's either have rally or you don't. I think it's, you know, kind of either A or B. Um, playing against lurkers. We just need cards that cost less than four mana. Let's just send it all back. Okay, so we got a pike in our, our hand this time. We got both champions in our hand. I guess all three champions in our hand. I guess. Um, I really don't want the two-mana vulnerable one. Hopefully they don't do that. Or, you know, they do. Yeah, not much to do about that. So basically have it so Zoe by herself trades with this hammer snout, because then I'll just challenge the hammer snout after this. Obviously not the best thing for me, but not the worst either. Fine. I think I'm going to have to discard the Aurelian Soul. That's how it is. Just Aurelian Soul. You're just too, s yeah. too slow for how fast they can be. Thank you. 
I don't know if I need to play that right away. Or not. Okay, so this is going to be a Pike game. So, you know, like, we're going to be playing Pike, using Bastion, Pell Cascade, maybe even Guiding Touch, like that kind of stuff to... I'll keep it alive, help, try to help it uh, level up. So they don't get to lurk again. You can only lurk once around. So these will attack as 3 1 3 1 and 2 2. That didn't work out so well. Wow. Good news, they missed Lurk. That's the good news. So we know they have some kind of card like Bone Skewer or something like that on top. Non lurk card. I'll just save three life, I guess. Don't love it. Pretty unfortunate we had no unit to play at 5 or 6. Oh man, really unfortunate we had no unit to play at 5 or 6. That Ruthless Predator my opponent had really, really set me back, right? Without that Ruthless Predator... You know, like we're like just you know protecting our pike, then like yeah, that ruthless predator plus two plus zero really set me back. I'm telling y'all, every Lurk opponent we play against gets this Death From Below, and I have, like, never gotten... I've gotten Death From Below two or three times in, like, 15 games of playing Pike decks. Ever. Yeah, I, I, I just wish I could play Lurk as well as some of my opponents do. Just, just really jealous. Well, we'll see how good my opponent is at RNG. So we always send Pike back. I think I'm keeping this, because we saw that last game, how it just had nothing to do in the mid-rounds. Or we need stuff to do in the middle rounds as well. Yeah, chat saying that Lurk is very high roll and a bunch of RNG, and it kind of feels like it. So, like, yeah, my opponent here this time, they have not had the one mana, two mana Lurk cards. That's what you need, right? Like, you got to have, like, those early one, two mana Lurk cards and then also hit Death from below. It's really tough to do that, but my last few opponents have done that just fine. Okay. 
So we are set up very well right now. But they got lots and lots of cards. They were, uh, spent their time drawing cards. Kitty Dexterity! Thank you so much for keeping that resub going. I really appreciate that. If I play Sunforger... Her light is our sword, her warmth, our armor. Really makes it difficult for them to attack, you would think. But maybe not. Because whatever they attack with, they're just throwing away. Good Bone Skewer back, but I'm just going to let them do that. Alright, that is our... That's our first sub of the day. I forgot to completely... I forgot to reset our sub goal. From yesterday, that was our very first sub of the day. I think Kitty, Kitty Dexterity. Doing a great job playing to the board. Let's get a messenger. Yeah. Draw some cards. All right, they found the sharklings. You know that last card in hand is that three mana card they just put back on top a little bit ago. Alright, so that's the only attack they're making. I guess I should have just gemmed. I was, you know, thinking of like keeping both of these up, but maybe I should have just gemmed this mentor of the stones. Because yeah, what does Mentor of the Stones really do? Okay, I'm going to support... You. Because then they, they definitely block the 7 4 I Guiding Touch. I guess I don't really want to cast Guiding Touch, do I? Never mind, let's go this route. That makes sense. And I was saying I don't want to cast Guiding Touch because I want to play Moon Dreamer this round. We know they have a Rek'Sai in hand. Fallen Comet sounds like it would be good against Rek'Sai. Oh, this Mentor of the Stones also has the Vulnerable, doesn't it? Both the Stun and the Silence both sound good. I'm going to go with the Stun. All right, that'll do it. GG's. Cool, gotta win. Pike Aurelian Soul. 
This is one comfy doggo back there. I got the two beds right next to each other, and, and that doggo is just laying <laughs> between both of them. So comfy. What do we got? Pirate aggro? Pirate aggro. Misfortune gangplank. I'll send the two priestess back, even though they're not necessarily bad, but a little slow. A little slow being just one twos for three. When I was looking at like cards to put in this deck, I thought about having Solari Priestess plus Mystifying Magician in Bilgewater. Four mana card. You turn one of your followers into a five drop follower. I thought that could be cool with... Uh, let's go with the Sentinel. I thought that could be cool <clears throat> with Solari Priestess instead of just being a generic 1-2 when it's in play. Turn it then into a, a random 5-mana follower. I'll shoot the wings off of Whoa, we hit Lurk. We hit Lurk. We high rolling. Death from below. All right, so no misfortune for them right now. In range. Captain's orders. Pull it to the face. Obviously, they can Nocturne Fervor, but I don't want to take all this damage. Just a little bit of killing left. I don't know about plenty. Alright, we got our dragon combo for 7 and 8. So we got Moon Dreamer next round, Moon Dreamer the following round, or Invoke, and then Eclipse Dragon 7, Aurelian Soul 8. Gem will make it easier for Pike to level up. Pike's at 6 out of 15. Ooh. So this can make it 4 and then 7. Ah, oh, that'd make it 13. So they took it all. I, I thought that a goat would. I thought they would trade Jagged Butcher for a goat. I'm surprised they didn't make that trade and just took the 3. Yeah, the cards looked a little expensive. Say your farewells. Why are you here? You can't do this. What happened? Perfect. Perfect. So both Sprayfins drew Make It Rains. That's the problem with playing Make It Rain. You know, like if, if either one drew a fervor, I'm in like a ton of trouble, but they didn't, you know, they didn't have a fervor. But neither one had a fervor. Okay. Can we survive? No. 
It's basically just decimate into fervor, right? Like that's kind of the only thing that kills me. And so we'll see if they got that or not. Yeah, I don't really see any reason to play anything else. We're gonna have to just open attack to make sure another decimate doesn't kill me. Wow, what a draw. Okay. Heal. We are leveling up Pike this round. We're gonna do it. At least, we would do it if they didn't concede. That's it. Conceding to Pike, Aurelian Soul. Dragon Pikes. And Lurkers. I think this is our third one against Lurkers with this deck, and I think we're one and one against them. So I think this is the rubber match. See who can finish it out. We need more bodies against you know Lurkers, you just gotta have the bodies. So cool. Got the mountain goat. I like our hand. Good starting hand, all cheap cards. Okay, not bad. Spend zero. They spent a card to discard a card, so that's also good. I think the Mountain Goats kind of gives me the best open attack. And I'm going to be a little greedy here playing this. Um, yeah, it's a little greedy. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. That's not very good. Scale of good to not good. I'll take my share. Maybe it's better just to bone skewer. Yeah, maybe it is. I don't. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't play the blue. I played the blue sentinel, keep them attacking with the swarm, right? Because like if I don't, if I just pass, then they just attack with the swarm also. But now, like they have like spell mana, and I don't. So they have their own bone skewer. Yeah, figured. So I guess I shouldn't have played the blue sentinel and just taken the three damage. You know, like it, the snapjaw swarm. I guess it would. Never mind, because they attack like that. So yeah, I know it would have been two damage. Okay, so they have a pike and. Three unknown cards. I think this card right here should be Pike. Okay, so that's putting Pike. 
back on top. So now they get death from below. That's nice. That's nice. He said sarcastically. Basically just using two mana just to draw a card. Got death from below on top. Let's go. Right, so there's is a five three. Don't really need the Nexus healing. Arm yourselves with holy sunlight. I think I'm okay just playing this. I don't really need the Nexus healing. Save the gem for Mr. Pike. Or the Space Sketcher. Alright, looking good, looking good. Only two cards over there. How? How are there so many death from belows? This is their third death from below this game. infinite death from blows. Yep, so I'm planning on using another Bone Skewer right here on... Uh, well, that's too bad. I should have taken the Moon Silver. Use another Bone Skewer right here. Now I won't have a really in Soul. I wish they would have attacked with that Caller so I could have blocked with the Sentinel. But I didn't... I didn't take... What is this? Our last card's another spell? Ooh, good thing they did that. That worked out. Nobody expects the Sunblessed Vigor. Oh, I meant to play you, Charger. I guess it doesn't matter now. Alright, so now we, we know they're drawing the one mana 2-2. Two, two. And we have the pike back on top of our deck. So we'll get another death from below. And look at this. Look at our, our decks working out. Oh, 
Look at our hand. It's... Look at our hand. It is Pike Aurelian Soul. Death from Below Aurelian Soul. It's like this is the name of our deck or something. Your favorite star. I created it. GG's! Okay, winning record, Pike Aurelian Soul. You know, playing Pike with some different protection and pump spells and stuff like that. Uh, the Blessing of Targon was really good, and the Sunblessed Vigor was really good. Both of those really helped us win the last two games. Game number four, thanks to Blessing of Targon. Game number five, thanks to Sunblessed Vigor. Uh, but yeah, you know, try to do some gems with Pike. Um and stuff like that yeah just a little you know different deck here uh different champion combination always fun and interesting to try out different stuff and there we go uh, you can play pike and aurelian soul together you can really figure out how to do any two champions together so those y'all on youtube hit that like button leave those comments we were kind of talking about it here in chat and y'all on youtube what do you think is the this is okay this is not the worst champion combination at all okay i think this is a, these are cool champions put together but we were just talking about this earlier of just what is the worst champion combination and, and what do y'all think i i think i had my vote on so if you had to, if you had to say like two champions that just don't work well together and would would be really awkward and stuff like that i i put mine on rexi plus um nautilus also, Rek'Sai plus Malphite. Was, it was tough between those two, but I was kind of thinking maybe Nautilus. Because um, Bilgewater doesn't... You know, like, if you put it with Targon, you can at least play, like, Destiny's Call with Rek'Sai. I don't know. But Bilgewater and Rek'Sai... Uh, I don't know. I guess, I guess Bilgewater, Rek'Sai, you, gotta, you can get a whole bunch of Lurkers if you make, if you make a Lurk deck. I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think is, like, the weirdest champion combination? I'd like to, <laughs> I'd like to hear what y'all think. Anyway, that's going to be it here, though, for Pike Aurelian Soul. Cool one here. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.